What a surprise when the fairies run into the specialists in the black mud swamp. The Winks have to help them look for the missing troll, don't they? But the Tricks, they were the ones responsible for the supposedly missing troll. Until now, the two groups have not crossed paths, but the next battle is very close. I hate doing kitchen duties. I just don't get it. What is it that you don't get, Bloom? Why a school for fairies can't use magic to cook dinner? It doesn't make sense. All you've got to do is wave the magic wand, snap your fingers, wiggle the nose a couple of times, and voila. Everything's ready without any effort. However, home-cooked meals taste a lot better and are much healthier. Um, hi, Maestro Sfolia. How's this side dish coming along? We're huh? almost finished, sir. These potatoes are too small. Take off less skin. And what about the omelets? Don't forget to flip them, eh? Uh, of course. Cooking is an art, young lady. When I graduate from here, I'll eat out every night. Now let's see you flip these omelets. Come on. For somebody turn off the fan. Uh, I'll do it. Come on down, little omelet. Don't be afraid. Trust me, no one's gonna eat you. I said to turn it off. <laughs> uh, uh. Mm, I'll have a word with the headmistress about granting you a permanent exemption from kitchen duties. You young fairies cause more troubles than help. Now I must clean up before dinner time, so keep an eye on the roast. Mm. Everything's okay here. Girls, I have some really wild news. We know. You managed to get out of kitchen duties. Congratulations, Stella. Oh, but I have a perfectly valid reason for that, you know. I'm going out tonight. I've got a date. Isn't that exciting? Oh, valid reason indeed. I received an invitation. Guess who from? Oh, we're just dying to know. Prince Sky, can you believe it? An invitation to Black Lagoon sounds good, huh? Wow. A guy who knows you and still wants to see you? But what am I going to wear? I'm so confused. Will you help me pick something? Well, okay. Stella, you've got so many clothes. Hmm. That's the problem. I need something really special, romantic. I'd wear this. Pure classic elegance. It's perfect. For a funeral, yes. For a date, I need a bit more pizzazz. How about this, then? You're sure to make a lasting impression wearing this. How could you have bought something like that? I didn't buy it. Someone gave it to you? I designed it. In the dark? I like this. Yeah, that's it. 
Will Brandon be there too? No, Sky gave his servants the night off. Oh, come on, Brandon is not his servant. He's his assistant, there's a difference. Sorry, Bloom, I was just joking, all right? <laughs> you like him, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, hey. don't tell me, it's none of my business. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have called him that, Stella. Musa, could you get that box for me, please? Sure. <clears throat> What's in there? Just a few pieces of jewelry. A few pieces? Here, these are perfect, but uh, the ring is too much. Now that's better. Here, Bloom, could you keep this for me, please? But it's your magic ring. Oh, I won't need it tonight. Hey, who needs a magic scepter when you've got a real prince to protect you? I wouldn't trust that guy. Something is not quite right about this day. I smell a rat. I smell something, too. The rose! Oh, the no, rose. the rose! Hurry up, quick! I'll get the extinguisher. Uh-oh, what a mess. Mess, you say? Mm -hmm. A better word would be disaster, catastrophe, calamity. Your unreliability is unforgivable. Oh, no, it's Miss Griselda. Aerolux. I hope you have a good excuse for all of this. Here I go! <laughs> Get back to work immediately, do you hear me? Dinner must not be delayed. Do your best, girls. Bread and cheese okay for you guys? Hmm? Oh, I'm exhausted. <sighs> I'm not even hungry anymore. <sighs> How are you feeling, Flora? <sighs> Enough said. Anyway, I want to go out too. With or without a date. Well, it certainly would be better if someone asked us out. I've not been programmed for dating. You should try it anyway, it's fun. What's fun about dating? It is an experience of irrelevant value. You've nothing to lose then. Yeah, why don't you ask Timmy out? Good night, girls. I'm going to switch myself off now. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hey, what's going on? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming from Stella's room. Let's check it out. Huh? You heard that too, didn't you? Mm hmm Stella, is everything okay? Stella. Uh, oh, <laughs> hi. What's up? Stella, what's with all the noise? And at this hour, it's not even time to get up yet. A uh, bag uh, fell down. Everything's all right. Go back to sleep. What's the point? The alarm's about to go off anyway. What time did you get in last night? We didn't hear you come in. It was late, and I didn't want to wake you up. So how did it go? Come on, we want the details. Oh, but there's nothing to tell. And you want us to believe that? Come on, come on, come on. I said nothing happened, okay? So go mind your own business. Stella? Who does she think she is? No, Musa, leave her alone. She'll get over it. And one more time, all together. A deep breath, repeat after me. Vanish Pumpkin! Vanish Pumpkin! Wow, that was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, Professor Wilkis, it didn't work, it didn't work! Calm down, calm down. This is what happens when you don't concentrate enough. Do something! Please, Professor! I'll take care of it right away. Here we are. Oh, a mouse? In a case like this, a good scare is the best cure. Thank you, Phil. No problem, Wizzy. I'll see you girls tomorrow for our first lesson on entosymbiosis, the art of insect transformation. Oh.
Did you notice? Our little princess didn't even bother to come to class. I don't know what's gotten into her. Maybe something happened to her and she doesn't want to tell us. But I thought we were her friends. I'll try again with Stella. You guys wait for me here, okay? Good luck, girl. <laughs> Flora is right. I thought we were all friends. And friends forgive one another. I'm sure Stella will have a good explanation for her wacky behavior this morning. At least I hope so. <gasps> what? Stella? Oh no. This place looks like it's been hit by a tornado. I just don't get it. What is going on? <clears throat> Hi, Bloom. Looking for me, are you? Huh? Stella, you did all this? But, but why? Because I want my ring, Bloom. I searched everywhere for it. Where is it? I want to know where you hid it! Stella, are you sure you're all right? I'll be fine as soon as I get my ring back. You know where it is, don't you? Uh, I don't recognize you, Stella. Calm down, okay? Let's sit down and talk. I don't want to talk. I want my ring, you thief. Uh, hey! Uh, uh. All right, Stella, that's enough, thief. This is no dream. What in the world has gotten into her? Her date with Prince Charming must have sent her into dizzy mode. On Earth, we'd say she's out of her head. But somehow, I don't think Skye's got anything to do with it. You should have seen her. She was... she was really evil. It didn't look like her. I don't understand the part about the ring. Why was she looking for it? She herself gave it to you. What if she's lost her memory? What if something happened to make her confused? That's what we've got to find out. For the time being, nobody must know anything about what happened. It'll be hard to keep this a secret for long. We've got to find Stella. She's not answering her cell phone. That would be too easy. Where do we start? Well, I'd start with last night's date. Prince Sky of Arachneon, our number one suspect. All right, then. Next stop, Red Fountain. I'd love to help you girls, but I really have no idea what you're talking about. Last night, I worked out till nine, then I collapsed. I didn't see Stella, and I never sent her a note like that. Hey, I didn't write that. You sure didn't. Didn't you girls know that Sky can't write? <laughs> Very funny, Ribbon. I just can't stop laughing. Bye, sweeties. <laughs> Obviously, someone has tricked her. Did something happen to her? That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, would it be possible to turn that animal off, please? Lady, <laughs> down, girl. Hush, lady. Lady. Lady! <laughs> Come sit, girl. <laughs> she spent so much time with Brandon, she stopped listening to me. Hi, Brandon. Hello, Bloom. All right, boys, break's over. Some fierce, fiery dragons are anxiously awaiting your arrival. So say goodbye to your little friends. Yes, Professor. We'll be there right away. That's Corda Torta the Terrible. It's probably better not to keep him waiting. You'll keep us posted, won't you? And if you need any help, you know where to find it. Now what? Do you have to ask? Let's go to Magics. So you think Stella is here somewhere? I think Stella could be anywhere at this point. Then why are we starting with the city? Because of the Black Lagoon, remember? An invitation to the Black Lagoon sounds good, huh? That's where she was supposed to go last night. Maybe they'll be able to help us there. Black Lagoon, hmm. Using my search program, we'll be able to find it in a flash, a quick scan of the synchronic map, and voila! Hmm, strange. No sign of the Black Lagoon. Now let's try my search program. You've got one too? How does it work? Check this out. Excuse me, sir, I'm looking for the Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon? Never heard of it. Sorry. See? <laughs> you guys can use it too if you want. It's very easy to operate.
something. This isn't good. If they want it to be a cool spot, they really should start advertising a little bit. Yeah, nobody's heard of it. There's something fishy going on here. Maybe we should go back to Alfia and warn Miss Griselda. You girls give up already? Listen, this kind of perseverance is not always good, Bloom. Neither are your electronic gadgets. Hey, hey, this is no time to be fighting. So yeah, sorry. Um, excuse me, ladies. Mm -hmm. I couldn't help but notice that, uh, well, you were asking questions, and I, I think I have the information you're looking for. Um, but maybe it's none of my business. Are you kidding? Why didn't you say so right away? Do you know anything about the Black Lagoon? If you do, tell us, please, pretty please, with a cherry on top. Uh, yeah, it's a great new restaurant just outside the city. You follow the main road and keep going till you get to the bridge. You can't miss it. There's a really large oak tree right in front of it. Great. Thanks a lot, mister. Uh, where did he go? What a strange man. You're absolutely right, Tecna. A strange man indeed. <laughs> the directions were right. Here's the big oak tree. And there's the black lagoon. When we get back to Alfea, don't forget to upgrade your search program. My program works very well. It's this place that's wrong. Tecna's right. There's a strange feeling about the place. This tree isn't breathing. It feels odd, cold, distant. It's as if it didn't exist, as if it were an illusion. Are you sure, Flora? <sighs> <sighs> Oh, at last, there you are. We've been waiting for you. Come in, please, come it's in. It's a trap. Why didn't we see that coming? Yeah, well, it's too late to turn back now. Hey, wait. Who are you? He wants us to follow him. Mm, I don't like this place one bit. A fresh coat of paint, a few nice rugs, it would look totally different. This is not the time to joke around, okay, Musa? Hey, that's what Stella would say. Well, look who's here. <gasps> My friends. Oh. I'm only here to take back what belongs to me. I want my ring. And you're going to give it to me one way or another. Watch out! Uh. Great, we're trapped! Uh. Their cover's not gonna last long. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Shield! You girls need a lift? Great timing, Tecna. <laughs> Ready to surrender? That's enough. I'm sick of being your target. No, Musa, don't react. We can't hurt Stella. But that's not Stella. She has no powers without her ring. All right, enough fooling around. Right you are, little fairies. Time to shed the disguise and be myself. Once again. Witches. <laughs> Get ready, girls. Wait for me! Wait for me! Me, me too, madam! But of course, nut. <laughs> Stella! I'm really sorry! The witches tricked me! No need to apologize. It's not your fault. Now, what is it that you want? 
Haven't you figured it out yet? We want Stella's ring, of course. Poor Stella, prisoner of my discs of energy, squeezing her even tighter. You'd better hurry up. The ring is very important to us. We've got to have this ring, you weaklings, or... Time's running out. You gotta decide, Bloom. Stella's life or the ring? <laughs> this is blackmail, and we never give in to blackmailers. <laughs> Get ready, you evil witches, for the thrashing of a lifetime. I've made my choice. No, we can't put Stella's life in danger. Bloom! All right, Icy. You guys win. But this time, keep your word. Normally I wouldn't, but I don't need her anymore. <gasps> ah! We did it. <laughs> <laughs> The scepter is ours. <laughs> We've been had. We fell for it like amateurs. Well, maybe that's because we are amateurs. We could have beaten them. It was four against four. A battle could have made things worse. To me, the exchange was the best possible option, bar none. But who are you to decide for all of us? You're not the boss. Tecna, I would have done the same thing. They might have scored a goal, but the game isn't over yet. What are you talking about? What? You don't have soccer on your planet? What soccer? Come, I'll show you. It's a game you play with the ball. Let's take this, for example. That's not a ball. It's just an example, Tecna. Now, it goes like this. In the next episode, amazing discoveries will lead Bloom and her friends to Cloud Tower to try to get Stella's magic ring back. Their mission will be filled with obstacles, spells, monsters, and magic traps. Will they succeed by themselves or will they need help? <laughs>